Alrighty, y'all, yes, sir. Ski, what is good, everybody? It is your neighborhood low key legend, man. Welcome back to another episode of Call of Duty commentary, man. Back with some Black Ops 1 Havana team deathmatch with the M16 today, fellas. Busting shit out, going back to the classics, to the roots, man. Uh, today is the 30th of july 2024 hopefully you guys are having a blessed day night evening whenever you are watching this man uh world has been doing i guess all right uh healing i hope um but as far as that goes i'm not really gonna be talking about too much crazy shit but i am i do want to talk about a conspiracy theory i have man and that is the contamination of water air and uh food so let's go ahead and talk about it man well, you guys, like I said, are having a blessed day, night, evening, whenever you are watching this. Um, I got a decent game here with the M16. Now, I, I forgot how kind of shitty the M16 is, unfortunately. Um, especially long range. You need to have a real good eye when you're using this gun. Um, so, <clears throat> anyways, man, let's talk about it. Obviously, just a theory I have um, that slowly and surely... Everything we are intaking is shifting our uh, DNA structure or our way of thinking um, or something along the lines of that. I don't know exactly what it is. And this is a theory I fancied for a while, man. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Dude. This is some fucking crazy shit. And more people are kind of throwing it out there as well that uh, um, apparently microplastics is a big one that we have contaminated i think it's in the air um it might be in the food and the water as well but microplastics are supposedly contaminated into everything which is wild to think about like when i heard that i was like are you fucking serious like plastic no way dog are you like that shit blew my it still does blow my mind like you hear these random ass facts that people throw out like hey like back um uh, like in a week or um every week a human ingests a credit card worth of plastic that's like you hear that and that's an eye opener you know what i mean it's like yo what the fuck is going on bro what is going on how does that how do we get to a world where that is in play you know what i mean and if that's in play, it's like, why? What's stopping them from putting any other microorganisms in the air, in the food, um, or even in the water? You know what I mean? Like, we already got contaminated water with fluoride. Um, depending on who you ask, that is it's uh, a thing in its own. But I don't think that it needs to... We, we definitely don't need it in there, for sure. The fluoride in the water uh that's a that's like a video in its own that i could probably hit on um excuse me about that <clears throat> but that's probably a video like i said i could hit on alone um with just you know some random shit obviously that goes way deeper than um just having good water you know what i mean all right we'll see how good my editing skills are man i got a lot of uh stop and pausing going on in this episode but regardless man like i said uh, air contamination water contamination and food i don't know why we we feel the need to spray all of our foods with whatever chemicals we decide to spray them with i know that they have the reasonings for it obviously like oh man like this is for you know killing diseases that grow on the food and, and keeping animals and insects and bugs away i know that that's probably a really big one that they try to hit on um keeping animals and bugs away from the crops but um i mean i got <laughs> that's what we gotta do man hey we gotta spray this dirty ass shit all over these crops man because i don't want them to get eaten I don't want them to get stolen, so I'm going to spray it with this nasty shit that is okay for humans. Bro, it's probably not okay for humans, you know what I mean? Like, like that is just, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's a, you got to do what you got to do, but I'm just surprised we haven't found nothing a little more natural to go ahead and 
you know, farm. Um, but I'm not a farmer, so I have really no leg uh, horse in the race. Um, just sitting here with my fingers crossed, hoping that uh, everything plays out as planned, man. But like I said, if it is if it is tainted even a little bit, dude, like a microscopic amount. Like, okay, it's not going to affect you today. It's not going to affect you this month. It might not even affect you this year. You know what I mean? But as you progress through life, slowly and surely intaking this fucking microscopic, whatever it is. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter really what it is. It's whatever type of disease that they have activated or, uh, you know, sickness or whatever they really want, dude. I think they have like a mood changer as well in the air that they can like make everybody's mood a little different um because some days man you wake up and you're just in a weird mood and i kind of correlated that with like okay there's no way like collectively we're all feeling this way i think that it has something to do with uh with something that's not in our control you know what i mean which is wild like i broke that theory down and kind of dissected it and was like yo this is pretty fucked up man i'm not even gonna lie to you guys very scary situation um because if you do realize everything is contaminated and there's nothing you can do about it it leaves us in a spot where it's like okay well i guess we're just riding this out now so <laughs> is what it is i hope that this theory is wrong but a lot of things that are happening in the like even now you know what i mean um where i can kind of understand uh how people are feeling it, it, i was really good at putting myself in people's situations um so it's interesting to see how people wake up certain days and are like yeah this is like damn like i don't feel right you know what i mean and i've talked to people that felt that way as well and our theory at the end of the day is, yeah, man, there's probably something in the air. And like we say that, we talk about it for a little bit, kind of swipe it under the rug. But this is a real fucking thing, man. Like, I'm pretty convinced that they somehow contaminated everything. And I don't, I don't know what the fuck they did, but it's there and it's... You know, it's not something you're even going to probably pick up on. You know what I mean? It's very slow moving. Like after like a, you know, a 10, 20 year period, then people start to kind of get symptoms of whatever disease that they're fucking trying to implement or dying. I don't know, man. It's, I like to fancy the idea and throw that theory around. I like to throw interesting theories around all the time. That's just kind of what I am, who I am. And even if it's not true, um, there you you we can't swipe under the rug the fact that our shit is contaminated guys now it's it might just be just plastics you know which is like ah it's not that bad it's bad fucking plastics who gives a fuck you know what i mean like just a couple plastic credit cards in your system every week all good you know what i mean but i'm sure that, i'm sure that that shit has something to do with uh where we're at now and the path that we're heading on as a civilization man i have uh, i'm praying for better days and um i love y'all man that's really all i got for you guys in this episode of call of duty commentary man something slight i think i went 17 and 8 in this one i'm 16 game winner i've been getting the game winners recently a lot man that's just kind of who i am nothing i can really do about it just kind of in my blood type shit 17 and 8 m16 nirvana love y'all man black ops 1 cod commentary i will see y'all tomorrow for a brand new one y'all stay safe savage low and i'm out of here man 